Okay, so in this install video, we're gonna show you really quickly how to install a Smitty built uh, EVAP skid plate. It's very, very simple, very easy. That is the part number right there. All right, so the EVAP skid, you can see it up top here. As I go under, it's nice to have a hoist. That's for sure at our shop here. So there it is right there. It's on the driver's side, just behind your transfer case and just in front of your rear diff. Nice and easy, so there's a bolt here. And there's gonna be a bolt, sorry, two bolts here. And that's where we're gonna take off. And that's where we're gonna put our new skid plate on. And then we'll just put it up there so it's not dropping. Hook it up on top. There we go. Beautiful. Skid plate and we'll get that on. Okay, so we're using the, uh, the existing bolt here that goes on to the back side of the skid plate, the Smitty Build skid plate. It's gonna hold that EVAP skid plate in place. And it's gonna give you uh, two new ones that go Basically, right over here in the holes right here. These guys here, gives you two new bolts for those. And then use your two existing ones, those first ones I, got, I showed you at the front. Okay, in this part here, we're just fastening the lower part of the skid plate, the Smitty Build XRC EVAP skid plate, to the brackets with the provided nuts, bolts, and washers. Pretty easy part here. Uh, this is pretty sturdy and it's powder coated should last quite some time and, uh, and really keep this EVAP skid safe. And again, pretty simple to do here as you can see. Almost done. Those two front ones done. One for the rear, and now for the side. Go, and now we're going to do the other side as well, get her all tightened down. That's fun getting the wrench in there. Is she good and taut? Yeah, there we go. That's not going anywhere. So the skid plate is now on. It's ready to rock and roll. Very, very simple. The Smitty built. Uh, that skid comes with a new bracket right here. It uses the one existing bolt and hole that goes there. The bracket comes down. You get two new bolts here with washers and nuts. This then secures to the rest of the EVAP skid plate. Comes all the way across here, connects down here. And then over here, you're going to use your two existing holes again and bolts from the factory. And that hooks the rest of the Smitty built EVAP skid onto your Jeep. Now it's ready to rock and roll. Let the carnage begin. You will not destroy this. Uh, this lovely, horrible place, Eva, and it's just done.